Hi folks, last week we promised that you would uh, meet another member of the StudyCast support team and we would talk about how to share studies with your patients, so Jason is here to do just that. Jason, how long have you been uh, with Core Sound Imaging and what do you do here? Um, my name is Jason Stoddard. Um, I am the manager of the uh, StudyCast support team here at Core Sound Imaging and I've been here for about uh, three years now. Cool. So today we're going to talk about Core Share. Can you tell us what it is and what uses it has? Sure. So Core Share uh, came about, we uh, heard from clients that many of them wanted an easy way uh, to be able to choose a, a study or a series of studies to share um, easily the images in the report with either a patient or they were wanting to send the exam to uh, uh, you know, a specialist or a referring doctor. Uh, to be able to uh, to access those images, so uh, core share came out of out of that need. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, so we're going to show you how it works. Um, so I have a demo account up here, and I have a so there's a series of echo exams uh, here. So you'll notice that there's a checkbox off to the left of each of these exams. So you can you can look up and and you know you can do this with any of your exams. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the box next to uh, a particular exam here. Now you can do multiples if you want, but I'm just going to choose this one. Um, and at the top of this checkbox column, there is this little pull-down menu. So if I select this, one of the options in here uh, is now Share. Um, and once you have your study selected, if you select this uh, Share option, you will get a screen here that will give you the opportunity to type in uh, an email address. You can do one or multiples of uh, who you want to send uh, these exams to. Um, so I'm just going to put my email address in here. And like I said, if you want to do multiples, you can press the uh, plus sign here and you can keep adding email addresses if you'd like. So if you want to send it to multiple people, maybe you want to send a copy of this email to yourself, you can do that as well. Uh, so I'm just going to leave my email address here. Now, the passphrase, now this field is required, and this is for security reasons, um, and the way that it works is you can set this to anything that you want, and um, you will have to provide this either in a separate email or a phone call to the recipient letting them know that they're getting this to let them know what this passphrase is. Um, like I said, you can set it to anything you want, but it's just for security so that when the link is generated, um, it is password protected. So I'm just going to set the passphrase here, just to the word study cast. A description, so this will show up in the email that gets sent. So if you wanted to um, just type a description in there, you can do that. Uh, the expiration time, so the default is one day. And what, what the expiration time means is that uh, in this particular case, the link that gets generated would be good for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, if uh, someone tried to access that link, it would no longer be valid. But you have other choices here as well. Um, the default, as I said, is one day, but you can do one week, two weeks, or even up to four weeks. Okay. So now when I hit share, it's going to give me this confirmation message saying that the, the share request has been processed, and it'll give you the email address that it sent the request to. Um, and it also will give you the link uh, that is being sent uh, in that email for the study. So see that my email was received here. Okay, I have a, a bigger copy of the email here so you can see it. So this is what the email looks like here. Uh, the same link. So if you wanted to copy this link, there's a copy to clipboard function here, or if you wanted to look at it from the, uh, from the email message, you can click the link as well. So I'm just going to click the link here in this message. And that's going to take me to the core share interface. Um, so you'll see that the note that I put up here uh, when I when I type the description in that shows up here, and it has a place to enter a place to enter the passphrase uh, that we set. So I'm just going to enter that passphrase of StudyCast that I entered there, and at the bottom here uh, there is uh, you have to check the box to agree to the HIPAA privacy policy notice, and you pr uh, press the accept and continue button. And once you do that you will be presented uh, with a list of either the study or studies that you have uh, shared with this client. So you'll see that there's the one exam here. There are 125 items. So if I just click anywhere on here now, it's going to open up uh, the images for that particular exam. 
Um, and this is nice because you have you you have play controls here. If you wanted to cycle through the images, you can do that. There is also over here on the bottom left, uh, there is a thumbnail browser. So if you wanted to a quick overview of all the images in the exam, you could cycle through those here, and uh, and you know directly go to a specific image. There is also uh, up here in the upper right, there's a report um, icon. So if you wanted to view uh, the uh, the final or preliminary report for this exam, you could open that up and it would open up uh, the PDF uh, for that particular exam. Uh, one other thing that's nice about this too is sometimes we've heard uh, doctors might want to use uh, images, uh, particularly in research projects and things like that, for presentations. So if you share an exam with them, there is the ability um, to down in the lower uh, right here, there's a save button. So if you wanted to uh, find a particular uh, image or clip, you could click the download button and it would download that, that uh, clip or image to your computer and you could drag it into a presentation or whatever you needed to do. And uh, that is CoreShare. Cool. Sounds like it's going to make a lot of people's lives a lot easier for, uh, for doctors to communicate with patients and, and other people in ways that they haven't been able to do before. Definitely. We've heard a lot of good feedback about it so far, so we're really happy with it. That's great. Cool. Well, join us next week. We'll be talking about the Approve and Next feature and more. If you have any questions about CoreShare or anything else, or if you'd like to suggest future topics, uh, leave a comment below. And uh, before we leave, Jason is going to talk about how and when you can reach the support team. Sure. So StudyCast support is available Monday through Friday. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, you can reach us by uh, right from the StudyCast interface by clicking on the support tab. There's, a, there's a, 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 a form that you can fill out right there to uh, email us, or you can email us directly at support at corestudycast.com, um, or you can reach us by phone at 866-209-3393, and the extension for support is extension 3. Great. Thank you very much, Jason. We will see you guys next week. Thank you.